a meditation for Palm Sunday. One thing about being with Jesus is you never know what's going to happen. Every day is different and that can be exciting and frightening depending on your point of view. As time moved on, Jesus spoke more and more about death. How the Son of Man would be betrayed to the religious leaders who would sentence him to death. We didn't really understand back then what he meant or we did. We buried our heads well and truly in the sand. It couldn't possibly happen, not to Jesus, could it? And so he sent us off that day to find uh, a donkey's colt. Little did we realise that this was the beginning of the end. There was nothing that we could have done to stop it. The owner of the colt was a bit short with us at first. He came rushing out of his house, his face full of anger. Oh, what are you up to? <laughs> but when we said the master needs it, his face changed completely and he was fine with us. We took it back to Jesus and the others, put some of our cloaks on and helped Jesus get off. As we neared the city, people must have known who Jesus was because they began to spread their cloaks out on the ground in front of us. And they were shouting, praise God, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. I don't know how Jesus was able to sit there knowing that in a few days time, some of those same people will be shouting, crucify, crucify. It's amazing how fickle we are as human beings. How we swayed so much by the people around us, especially by a crowd. It was getting late by the time we got back that night. We returned the cult to its owner. We made our way to find Jesus and the others out at Bethany. It was almost dark. I slept soundly that night. But I wonder how Jesus slept, knowing what the days ahead would bring.